While a majority of districts have pushed back their start dates to accommodate more virtual training, the Greenfield Union School District and Plantation Elementary School will start their school year as scheduled today. That's where we find 17's Taylor Schaub with an inside look at how teachers and administrators are getting ready. Taylor. Well, good morning, Maddie. We're just hours away here at Plantation Elementary School from school starting for the next semester or the next trimester here. And as you can take a look, and we're going to pan over, the classroom looks a little different this year. The kids will not be back in class today. As we know, virtual learning will be uh, the... Virtual, uh, virtual learning will take place for this school district as well as every other school district at least to start here uh, this school year and joining us right now is one of the teachers here at Plantation, Sally Mitchell. Sally, thank you for coming in and joining us this morning. I have to ask you, do you guys feel like with everything that's going on right now and the move to virtual learning for this semester that you're ready to start today? Yeah, oh, yes, I do feel as if I'm ready. I am excited. I am very nervous. Um, obviously, um, it, it's a privilege to be working with these students, always. However, this distance learning has t <laughs> taken nervous to a whole new level. <laughs> um, normally, this is where we spend a lot of our day, here in the front of the room. And um, that is not going to be what's happening this time. Most of us will be at our desks with our cameras in a Zoom meeting with our kids. And we will be meeting with them four times during the day and um, covering our, our language blocks and our literacy and math and community building and intervention. So um, it's going to look way different. <laughs> so I know a lot of parents are curious, what have you guys been doing in the last couple of weeks to prepare for this school year? And what have you guys been doing to make it a different experience than it was with all the challenges that took place at the end when everybody was adjusting last year? Well, <laughs> for me, the learning curve has been very big. Um, um, I used to get a lot of chuckles around here because I only recently gave up a flip phone. <laughs> so um, I, it is not just the last few weeks that this learning has been going on. We were offered opportunities during the summer through Kern County Superintendent of Schools to attend trainings for virtual learning. Um, our district has been very, very supportive with us as well in terms of getting us trained and getting us ready for this. Um, doing it is another thing and walking through it. Um, I fortunately have a very supportive family and <laughs> neighbors and grade level team that have been helping me get ready for this. All right. Thank you so much. And Sally, I know you were telling me earlier that it's going to be difficult not to have the kids in here today mm -hmm. and classes start in about an hour. I'm going to send it back to you guys. Yeah, I, I'm getting ready, you know, I'm getting my kids ready, trained to make sure they have everything that they need. It's going to be very interesting, and a lot is going to fall on parents this year to be more yeah. involved than ever.